I've been using Winsor & Newton fast drying alkyd oils for 40 years. Highly recommend. Liquin as well. That's ultramarine blue and titanium white. Mixing thoroughly with a palette knife. Quite a large amount of paint so that you get a very even colour of blue. And then blocking in the whole canvas. This is just a personal preference, but it uh, makes life easier for me dealing with the uh, whole background of the sky. Using a pastel pencil or indeed chalk, uh, I make the marks. And I always use a set square to put a horizon line in. Highly advise on this. Make sure that square, they're all uh, straight. The chalk now to, uh, to draw in just a rough idea of the clouds. This will disappear with the paint, but uh, that's something that I, uh, I think you'll find is quite useful rather than using things like uh, pencils or charcoal, which uh, leave a dirty residue in your paint. So it's just some rough ideas as to where I'm going to put the, uh, the clouds uh, and uh, I may even move the horizon. That was the colours that I used. So it's Naples yellow, titanium white and back into the blue that uh, is already mixed. I would almost never ever use pure white and I would advise against it. You've nowhere to go from black which I never ever use, or pure white, which I very rarely use. Onto the canvas, and let's get cracking. Quite uh, rapid marks. Just blocking in the, uh, the highlights, the outer edges of a cloud that uh, is lit from behind by the sun. Incidentally, the painting is of a beautiful village here on Anglesey called Mulvera. Uh, it's a view from Mulvera from the, uh, the little harbour there and uh, it's, uh, it's a painting that I've been looking forward to doing for a while. It's actually a commissioned piece but um, I'm hoping that the, uh, the owners will be very happy. So again just making marks. I stop regularly to stand back and look at what I'm doing and that's very important. I can never emphasise that enough. So the next thing I'm going to do is mix uh, the colour which is uh, blocking in the, uh, the clouds themselves. So I'm going to use the, uh, the same basic colours, the uh, Naples yellow and the ultramarine blue in uh, more intense amounts will, uh, will give me the base colour for the clouds. So the original blue, the Naples, and mixing it in small amounts will give me the intensity that I require. Start applying it usually right at the edge. Apologies for the poor camera work. And then that gives me an opportunity to test as to whether it's uh, too dark or too light. And blending wet into wet, which uh, works very, very well. I don't worry about the fact that I will get the odd anomaly because uh, that's the way it is. Uh, often switch to a bigger brush, which I think I'm about to do. There we are, switching to a bigger brush to, uh, to block in more rapidly and to cover a bigger area. This is, as it says in the title, the first part, and I'm hoping to do it in less than three minutes, but there we are. Quite a bit over three minutes, unfortunately. Tune in for part two.